welcome to all in this video we will discuss module 1 and the topic is evolute and involute based on the problems so first we will discuss what is what is mean by evolute and what is mean by involute and how to solve the problems okay. so a locus of the curve center of curvature of given curve is called evolute a locus of the center of curvature of the given curve is called evolute of the given curve the given curve is called involute the given curve is called involute of it is evolute okay. so this is the definition of involute and evolute so working procedure how to find an evolute okay how to find the evolute so first one we prepare to consider a curve y equal to f of x in the parametric form x equal to x of t and y equal to y of t so first see the given curve after that we have to choose the suitable parametric equation so next we have to find y1 and y2 so already last video i explained how to find y1 and y2 because the radius of curvature and also center of curvature circle of curvature we find only y1 and y2 y1 is nothing differentiate with respect to x first time and y2 is a twice differentiation okay and next one compute the center of curvature x bar comma y bar this is also I already I explained how to find x bar and y bar. So we have to find x bar and y bar. Then one that's that's why we find y1 and y2. So for the point x comma y, which will be the terms of t. So x bar equal to x of t and y bar equal to y of t. Next one, eliminate t from 1 and 2, which result is an expression of the form of f of x bar comma y bar equal to k. So k taking the locus of x bar comma y bar in capital F of x bar comma y bar equal to k. So replacing x bar comma y bar by x comma y in the final answer. So we will get f of x comma y equal to k. So this is a required evolute of the given curve which being the referred, uh, referred to as a involute. So this is the working procedure. So now we will move to the problem. So in our syllabus we will discuss this five curvature under the Cartesian form under the parametric. So parabola y square equal to 4ax. If it is y square equal to 4ax parabola means we have to take parameter x equal to at square y equal to 2at. In case the curve is, curvature is parabola in the form of the Cartesian form of x square equal to 4ay mean we have to take x equal to 2at and y equal to at square if the curve is ellipse then the Cartesian form is x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 means we have to choose the parametric form x equal to a cos t y equal to b sin t and another one if the curvature if the curve is hyperbola the Cartesian form is x square by a square minus y square by b square equal to 1 then we have to choose the parametric form x equal to a secant t and y equal to b tan t and another one the curve is rectangular hyperbola the Cartesian form is x y equal to c square so we have to choose x equal to c t and y equal to c divided by t and next one is asteroid that is x power 2 by 3 plus y power 2 by 3 equal to a power 2 by 3 so we have to choose x equal to a cos cube t and y equal to a sin cube t okay, we have to choose so this this 5 is the important one okay this one parametric form so you should memory the parametric form then only we solve the problem so we'll now we have to solve the problem so see find the evaluate of the parabola y square equal to 4ax so clearly the name of the curve is parabola and the cartesian form is y square equal to 4ax so this is the given condition so we have to choose the parametric form x equal to at and y equal to 2at yes okay we shall consider the parametric equation y square equal to 4ax and the cartesian and then the parametric form is x equal to at y equal to 2at what is the condition what is the working procedure first we have to find y1 and y2 y1 is dx y what is y1 y1 equal to dy by dx dy by 
dx but it is not possible to directly find so we have to use this one so x equal to at square what is dx by dt dx by dt equal to 2at yes 2at then what y equal to 2at what is dy by dt that is 2a okay so y1 equal to dy by dx that is dy by dt into dx by dt equals 2a divided by 2at so this 2a and 2a cancel we get 1 by d that is y1 what is y2 d square y by dx square that is d into d by d by dx into dy by dx what is dy by dx that is 1 by t so on d divided by dx into 1 by t so this differentiation is minus 1 divided by t square into dt by dx what is dt by dx 1 divided by 2at so minus 1 divided by 2at cube is the y2 that is the first step second step you have to find the center of curvature that is x bar and y bar x bar formula is x minus y1 divided by y2 into 1 plus y1 square and y bar equal to y plus 1 plus y1 square divided by y2 what is y1 this is y1 and this is y2 clearly we know the x and we know the y also so substitute everything we will get x bar x bar equal to 3a t square plus 2a Okay, so if we simplify, we'll get this one. And next, we have to find the y bar. Y bar equal to 2at plus 1 plus 1 divided by t square divided by minus 1 divided by 2at cube. Then cross multiplication and taking numerator value, we'll get 2at minus 2at cube minus 2at. So minus and plus cancel. We'll get y bar equal to minus 2at cube. So we got x bar and y bar. That is the center of curvature. So next step to completed. Step three is we, we have to eliminate t from equation one and two. Okay, what is equation one from one? T square equal to x bar minus two a divided by three a. So rising to the power three by two on both side of the above we have so t square power three by two into x bar minus two a divided by three a power three by two. So that is this t t square cancel. We get t cube equal to x bar minus 2a divided by 3a power 3 by 2. Why we are choosing uh, using this one means we have to find the t cube value. So this t cube value substitute in equation 1. So using this expression t cube in RHS of equation 2, we'll get y bar equal to minus 2a into x bar minus 2a divided by 3a power 3 by 2. Squaring on both sides square if we are squaring on both means this 2 and this 2 is cancelled we will get 4a x bar minus 2a divided by 3a power 3 or y bar equal to 4a square divided by 27 apply cubic on numerator and also the denominator so 4a square divided by 27a cube into x bar minus 2a power 3 so this is square and this is cancelled so multiply opposite direction we'll get 2a 27a y bar whole square equal 4 into x bar minus 2a power 3 so this is x bar and y bar so this is the third step and fourth step yes so now by taking the locus of x bar comma y bar so the locus of x bar comma y bar is nothing just to replace x bar equal to x and just to replace y bar equal to y so we obtain the evaluate the required solution is 27a y square equal to 4 into x minus 2a cube so this is our required evaluate okay so that's all i hope you are all understand the concept of evolute and involute so the important thing is you should memory the uh, respective parametric form Okay, parabola, hyperbola, helix, the respective parametric form. So the process is nothing. First, you have to find uh, y1 and y2. That is step one. Step two is to find the center of curvature x bar comma y bar. And step three is to eliminate t. And step four is just to replace x bar and y bar to x and y. That is the locus of the evolute. So that's all. That is the procedure of to finding the evolute. Okay. So I hope you are all understand the concept. If you have any doubt means you can comment me or you can text me or you can call me in directly okay i will explain the directly okay thank you thanks for watching this video thank you for all